starting off season 17 with the Roadrunner Classic. And our judge is going to be Brian Osborne, CJF from uh, Paris, Kentucky. And one of the shoes that he picked was a little cross firing shoe with a jar cock, an outside heel cock that's slightly trailered. It's quarter clipped and it's set up for a combo four. It's plain stamped on the medial and it's fullered on the outside. And it's, it's meant to go, and it's on a speed horse, so it's 5 16 by 3 quarter, 15 inches long. So one of, the, one of the things that a lot of people are doing is making really big heel cocks. And we're going to just kind of have a set down heel cock and try and make it uh, nice and dainty, clean, like the one that Brian has on his. It's a nice clean shoe. So we'll get going and we'll start off with our first heat. All right, we're just gonna put a little bit of bump in there because it is the area that it's gonna be welded. Just kind of narrowing it up a little bit. Set over, oh, maybe about three quarters of an inch. Beating it back into itself. And there I got it set up. Just kind of trying to make the diamond in it. Keeping everything nice and square. Nice clean little heel cock. What we'll do is we'll scarf it on the next time and we'll be moving on to the other side. Just going to tidy up the heel cock just a little bit. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to get real close to the edge and scarf nice and tight like a little half moon almost like a frog plate and that'll be one side of my weld. So we got basically a nice tidy heel cock and then got a weld that's going to marry up with the other side of the bar. We're going to take about three inches and bend it over the horn and make a nice acute bend. And then we're just going to take and put a little bit of bend in it right there. This arc. We'll make it to where now when I push back, I can get that corner nice and tight. And then what I want to do, I'm going to drop the heel of my hammer and I'm going to just tighten that up in there. And then tighten the toe up. Work back and forth.
basically got my frog plate done and I'm about three inches enough to forge it. I'm gonna scarf it real quick. And then basically if I put my toe bend in the center, I've got about a 12 inch shoe. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of sole relief to give me some width right in my toe. That just makes this it a little bit wider so that I can forge that fullering in without the toe being so narrow. And then isolate my toe. Basically, I just got my toe bend, and then I'll do one branch and the other branch. All righty, put it where the quarter bend is. I really don't want to worry too much about donkeying out the trailer at this point because when you weld it, it'll do a lot of that. So, now I'll do the other side. Find the quarter. And then what I do is I got a little heat in here and I just start dropping that down to where it's in place. Just kind of go out on the tip and just kind of use the round side of my hammer and just get that to where it lines up. What I'll do is I just got to close that up a bit. I'll bring it out and I'll pull all that scarf together and we'll weld it. Uh, we're just going to pull these pieces together and make everything nice and tidy. Everything nice and tight. Got everything nice and tight, all the seams put together. Now I'll just flux it. Got the Iron Mountain flux. Probably the best flux on the face of the planet. They're sponsoring this class. Good people. Keep you hooked up. We're in a coke board, so you really don't want to get a sweaty heat. You just want to get nice, even color because this stuff really works good in a gas board, so it doesn't want a true, just sweltering hot, sweaty heat. You just want to kind of back off just a little bit.
get it all tightened up. Everything's the same color. I got it welded. And then I'll go for another one. I always like to weld it three times, just to be careful. Kind of forge it up as you go, that way you don't crack it or nothing. We got her all welded, the heel cock pretty much done. Now we're gonna just T-square everything up. We got our toe about where we want it. And we'll we'll fuller it. And we'll mark the medial toenail. Take my time. All right, we'll bring it out and we'll get the, the lateral full and all done and shape it up, make it a little bit more of a, of a quartered hind shape and uh, drop that in there. So we're gonna just hem it a little bit, go up to the quarter, go over the quarter and bring it on down. Stamp it. And then I'll hem it. Again, I'll just kind of clean up my edges a little bit. Tighten those up. it up nice and pixel it out. So I'll do that to the medial side as well. Just gonna shape it up a little bit, put this quarter in there. Gonna clean up the little bit of frog eyes that I got for the plain stamp.
And then kind of clean up this quarter here. Clip it, one side and then the other. All right. Draw your source holes, try and stay as tight as you can. everything you can around it. And we'll do the other side. All right, we're gonna Focus on the same spot. pretty well sorted. I'm going to focus on building the frog plate for the bar. That way I can clean up the back half and we'll put our jar cock on there. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of a scoop in there for the frog plate. Come over here. Get it nice and flat for, for my jar cock. Alright, I think we're ready to go for the... We'll make the jar cock and put that on there. Alright, just kind of narrow it up a little bit. Focus on one side, there's a top and a bottom to them. Always hit the part that's going to go on the shoe. That way it always mushrooms out and then you, you narrow up the top side. Get your anvil devil about an inch and a quarter.
the whole time I'm just trying to make a little bit of a pyramid, crisping that up. That makes that be nice so you don't have so much rasping to do. Quench it. And then you just There we go. Just use your end of your tongs and put it where you need to put it. brass on there get the excess off and then just quench it real quick and that gets everything nice and hard seems like brass and copper do better when you quench them and then I'll just Put it in the vise. And we'll just clean everything up. Get most of that grass off of there. We'll clean all the edges up. And we will finish this shoe out. Alright, probably the hardest things about this shoe is don't make a ginormous heel cock on it. It's a standard bread shoe, a little cross firing shoe. Make sure your heel, it even, it isn't even worth the time to just kind of draw file the top of the section so that you have some fresh steel so that you, when you go to braze on your jar cock, it's it's nice and clean. The cleaner it is, the better off you're going to have brazing it on there. And just not to not get your, always focus on getting your bar straight with your toe and not getting it swung too far to one side or the other. We really want to thank Iron Mountain because this class fits them the best because we do some welding with the Iron Mountain Forge Welding Flux and then the Red Mountain for the brass. So. I tell you what, good luck and we'll see you in Edgewood.